Howdy folks, Mr. Buff and Mr. Buff about the woods, and I wanted to share with you my latest project. Um, <clears throat> this is my new trekking pole. And it's based on the design of a thumb stick. Gives you a place to rest your thumb there. Uh, the crook of the antler. I plan on using this year while I'm harvesting my blackberries to reach in and hook a blackberry cane and pull it out away from or really just about anything that I don't want to stick my hands into. Pull it out in from the from the brush. Uh, hoping to avoid a few briar scratches that way this year. This little antler spike, as you can see, I've got uh, right now the bone tip on it. This uh, this bone is just a leg bone off the deer. I found it in the woods. Um, Given the whole thing a coat of polyurethane, except for the antler, even the bone's got polyurethane on it. Just kind of help close the pores and keep it from going bad. And I got a rubber tip for hard surfaces. And this is for spiking into the ground. It serves the same purpose as the, the ice spike. And let me get my screwdriver and I'll show you how it works. The um, whole thing is put together with these connectors that you use on electrical conduit. This is just an oak dowel rod. Um, I like to go ahead and purchase this time instead of produce, just for time's sake. Time's been a little short-handed here. Just loosen the, suit, loosen the set screw. This part comes off, I can tuck it into a pocket or a pack pocket for now. This piece right here I've just got looped through so that it forms a basket. I'll show you how this piece comes over that and it tightens. Turn the stick back up right or back upside down however you look at it. And I did have to carve the parts down just a little bit to make everything fit. Uh, once that set screw's tight, man, it's tight. That's not going anywhere. Neither is that. As a matter of fact, I thoroughly believe that I could probably hook a tree and pull myself up a hillside with that. Dig it into the ground for anti-slip or the probing area. I can let it set. Anything's got a little hook on it, I can hang and keep it handy. Uh, I suppose if I had to, I could angle it in, dig it in at an angle, and even hold a pot over a fire. Although I'd rather not do that with my nice stick. A little bit of mud on the tip. But uh, anyway, that's my new walking stick. Oh, this piece right here, I can cut down, loosen this screw, remove this section, put a different, move the, loosen this screw on the topper, move it down here, and I've got something that's a little a little shorter, a little easier to control, a little less menacing if I happen to be out in public. But, uh, yeah. But I built the whole thing for around, you know, including the cost, of the cost of the wood and the polyurethane and the stain, about 15, 20 bucks, give or take. But uh, it's a nice little project, and I thought I'd share it with you. Uh, only thing that I would change about it this is not the last one I'm going to build. The next one's going to be a little beefier. That half inch dowel rod just doesn't, doesn't feel stable. So I like things to feel stable. Thank you all for watching. You have a blessed day.